there were several things that happened just really just very prior to the assassination that had me wondering how well he was tightly wound or not. And uh, for instance, he had given Marina and me a, a telephone number to call if the baby came when he was at work. Baby came on the 20th of uh, October, and that was a Sunday, and he was there. He would, our arrangement was he would come out weekends to be with his wife and their little daughter, June. And, uh, but he was there, so we didn't use the phone number he had given us. But the next, the weekend, just prior to the assassination, Marina asked him not to come. It was my daughter's birthday. She was having a party. She felt that he uh, would be in the way or just more complication. So I asked him not to come, and he did not. But she was feeling lonely, so she asked me Sunday night to give him a call at the number we had. I called and was told, there's no Lee Oswald here. I said, is this the number? Yes, it was the number. So when he called Marina the next day, as he normally did when he got home from work, he called from his rooming house, I am, I'm assuming, he, uh, she asked him, we tried to reach you. And, and he said, you should, he, right, she's telling me later after the phone call, he was very angry, said to her, she shouldn't have tried to reach him and that he was using an assumed name. And uh, Marina, after she hung up and told me this, was clearly very upset very worried about what she called his fantasies and this business of using a different name.